on site today at a major coal export terminal, which exports around 45 million tonnes of coal per year, 24 hours a day, 365 days per year. We are preparing to lubricate the 30mm luffing ropes in one of the shiploaders with the new Viper Mark II wire rope lubricator. Prior to starting the job, we prepared a job safety analysis for the task, plus conducted our site and area inductions. Pre-lube preparation includes arranging for a suitable airline, lifting the Viper kit components and lubricant up to the work location and laying down some plastic sheeting to keep the work area clean. We also arranged to lift the shiploader boom up to the vertical position so that we can lubricate the length of rope while it is being lowered. The first step is to mount the Viper Rope Cleaner VRC. As you can see, this rope has a fair amount of old lubricant and coal dust buildup and to achieve optimum lubrication and penetration, we will want to remove as much of this contamination as possible. Clean a section of wire rope. Once clean, smear this section of rope liberally with lubricant. Now assemble the three segments of the VRC around the rope. These are held in place by the heavy duty stainless steel clamp. Once clamped in place, move the VRC up and down the rope section to ensure it is moving freely. We do not want to clamp it too tightly. Now fit the Viper Mark II collar to the wire rope. Open the collar and clamp it round the wire rope. As you can see, the new Mark II with the cast handles makes this task a simple and quick one-man operation. Once the collar is in place, tighten the toggles firmly by hand. Do not over-tighten. Moving over to the Viper Mark II pump, as we mentioned in the assembly video, each site has their own type of airline fitting which you will fit on site. Fit the male fitting to the air regulator. Ensure the air control valve is in the off position and the lubricant control valve is screwed all the way in to the off position. Now connect the airline to the pump and adjust the regulator to 80 PSI or 550 kilopascals or 5.5 bar. Connect the lubricant hose, quick connect coupling to the high flow Viper grease pump and the other end to the Viper collar and also fit the clear lubricant discharge hose. The Viper collar is held in place by the retaining ratchet straps and D-shackles. On this application, they have secured the D-shackles to a track mechanism which allows the collar to move laterally with the rope as it winds onto the drum. It's now time to begin the wire rope lubrication. Operate the winch motor to begin the rope travelling through the collar. Turn on the air control valve and adjust the grease control valve until optimum grease application is occurring. Visual inspection of the rope will reveal when an adequate coating is achieved. Note also that the VRC is effectively removing contaminants. The Viper pump is capable of delivering in excess of 4 kilos of grease per minute. As you can see, this allows for fast lubrication of the rope. One single pass through the Viper collar is all that's required. We will now slow down the footage to show the whole process at work. The dirty rope enters the Viper rope cleaner and is cleaned, and then lubricated through the collar with the finished rope exiting the collar. Now let's have a look at the finished product on the wire rope drum. It's worth noting that at this site, prior to the Viper being introduced, it used to take two men, two days, suspended in a crane bucket to lubricate these ropes every two months. Now with the Viper, it takes about two hours and they have only to re-lubricate every seven months. Huge savings in time, labour, lubricant, plus safer for the workers. Not to mention the increase in productivity for these shiploaders.